just got this uh, new spindle. It's a 1.5 kilowatt Chinese uh, spindle. You can see the name here, G D Z 80. 1.5 uh, 80 uh, millimeter in diameter and 1.5 kilowatts max uh, uh, rotation speed is 24,000 at 400 hertz. In order to drive this, this is a three-phase motor. Uh, I got the uh, frequency inverter here, which is uh, the brand is called Best, and you can see the uh, code here FC 300. Dash O three. It's a basic uh, three-phase um, inverter that takes uh, two twenty in and uh, sends out uh, the three-phase uh, current that the motor needs. Just uh, for your information, now I call it a frequency inverter. It might as well be called a variable frequency drive, uh, VFD. So there's a lot of uh, names that uh, are being used. The uh, connection uh, here is, is pretty simple. Um, you have the uh, the uh, 220 coming in here, the brown and the blue one, and over here you have U, V, and the W. These are the three uh, faces coming out, and they then need to be connected. And here on the motor there's a four uh, pin connector uh, and uh, I would say as usual with some of this Chinese stuff there's absolutely no uh, documentation so uh, I had to look for a bit uh, and ended up finding out that uh, pin number one was U which I've actually put on here on it so I can remember it Pin 1 is U, pin 2 is V, pin 3 is W, and pin number 4 is ground. <coughs> and they actually re recommend to use a, a shielded cable. Right now I have only connected the, the three wires, uh, so it's the fourth, number 4 ground is not connected. And it's not necessary for operation, but I think it, there might be some noise issues for other electronics. Uh, so I'll uh, just... Uh, put on the uh, power now and let's see how it works. So now I have powered it up and you can see the H is blinking and this is basically the set frequency so it would be running 142.8 uh, Hertz out uh, and we can try to tr hit run and you can see it slowly goes up to the set frequency and then it stays there. The stop, of course, will bring it down slowly. Um, by the way, if you uh, need uh, have a bigger motor or have a heavy load, you may want to add a uh, braking uh, resistor here. And um, typically, it's a hundred or two hundred ohms, uh, hundred watt or so. You add here, so it's a pretty big resistor that will uh, burn off some of the energy and make it slow down quicker. So uh, let's put it on run, and then you can see it changes to F instead of H, and so uh, that's the output frequency. Uh, you saw it ramping up, and then it gets to the set point. And you can use the uh, the toggle up and down here, or you can use the jog here uh, to change the frequency while it's running so let's try that so that works nice then using enter you can change to the different uh, views so you have uh, the output current here 5 amps approximately the voltage is uh, 299 And this is this is the output, and the other was the Bosch bar voltage. I have to admit, I don't know what that is. And this is the uh, the uh, motor speed. So this is RPM. So running seven thousand right now. And this is something factory test reserve. It doesn't tell what it is. So you go in in, around, uh, in lines. 
So now I want to try to uh, connect it uh, to the um, to the uh, breakout board, the USB breakout board, and I want to use it together with uh, and see if I can control it from the computer. Yeah, so now I have connected the uh, VFD, the frequency inverter, to uh, the uh, the uh, board, the AKC250 board, and I have basically connected uh, the ground to the ground, and then the PWM output, which is pulse width modulation output, I connected that to the AVI output. And then uh, I put on the one kilo ohm resistor here, going to the 10 volt output on the VFD. And then I have connected forward uh, control to an output, and I think I uh, put it on, on, on output number four uh, on the board. And on the, the, uh, on the uh, inverter that I have used, uh, the forward, that is called X1, uh, on uh, on the terminals. So if we take a look at the terminals, it looks like this. So you have the uh, the ground. You have the uh, resistor going to AVI and into 10 volts, and then the white uh, line uh, will go to the P. Uh, VM input or output on the board and then I have X1 so it's basically just three wires going over here and I'll move the camera real quick here. sorry for the disturbance here and here you have it on the board here you have ground PVM and output 4 and then I'll just show you how I have set it up in uh, in Mark 3 before we try it out so back in Mark 3, I can show you real quick how uh, to set up the output signals. So you have to go to uh, ports and pins, and there you have the spindle, and I have set uh, that output 1 is uh, the spindle. I have uh, checked marked the uh, spindle motor output and PVM controls, and I have put a pretty high number here. In the manual they say 1000. And it gives a somewhat unsteady uh, uh, rotation or RPM uh, on the motor. So I kicked it up to the highest number uh, available. So if you put a bigger number, I think it's just going to go back to this number. So uh, I've used that. And then on the output, basically just say that output is enabled. It comes out to pin 4. That was the green wire I just showed you. Active low. And uh, that's essentially uh, all the settings I've done. And then if I kick in an M3 to command, the motor starts. And it goes to, um, to the last number, which was, uh, what you can see here, 12,000. And if I look at the uh, PVM, it actually also says 200 Hertz, so that's fine. And now it's going to be a lot, a lot of noise. I go to 24,000. So this is how it works. I can just show you the same stuff uh, while I make the same commands. I can show you what the inverter is doing, but that requires uh, that I just set up the video camera.